Stephen. This is Sarah, Ali, and John, and we're presenting the competitive landscape for Bamboo Sun. We see baby wipe sales have slowly increased over the past few years, but are forecast to increase at 1.6% by 2016. Recycled toilet paper sales have increased at a stronger rate and are forecast to grow by 4.9% by 2016, which is beating the growth of economy toilet paper, luxury, and standard toilet paper. Although as a whole, disposable baby product sales are down since 2006. Although a hidden gem that we found is that is Hispanic population growth because Hispanics are far more likely than any other ethnicity to contain children younger than the age of six. We've also found a few attitudes of our consumers and that is that 20% are trying to buy baby products in bulk, 53% are trying to buy natural products, 51% are concerned about the ingredients in the products, 41% are trying to buy organic, and additionally 34% are willing to pay more for environmentally friendly products. Uh, in addition, we found a strong interest in recycled toilet paper and paper towels with above 50% in, uh, interested in trying paper towels and toilet paper made from recycled products. So here's a, here's a visualization of our main competitors. Um, so as you guys know, you did all the research as well. There are literally hundreds of companies that will be competing for the dollars that we're going to be buying for as well. Um, so, in, in that global perspective that you just saw, um, we thought that it was, it was important to also focus on international companies as well, because it's not going to be that hard for them to enter the market. So, one of the companies that, here's a list of a ton of them, we're not going to bore you with the ones that you already know about, um, but Aliva Naturals is a French company that actually has the same exact product that we do. Um, bamboo baby wipes, they're eco-friendly, um, they're baby friendly and they're owned by a large French conglomerate, so they have a larger marketing budget than us. Um, the, other, the second company I'd like to talk about is the Honest Company. Uh, that's Jessica Alba's company, and that company has a unique way of drawing in customers and keeping them. Uh, they actually offer a subscription base, so what you can do is you can pay $35 to every month get the same five products shipped to your house, and we think that that's an interesting way to look at it so that in this kind of market, uh, consumers are switching from one company to the other pretty quickly. Um, this kind of keeps them in that loop with us because they have to act actively unsubscribe from the service. Um, and so this is, this is the footprint that we came up with. So while all the other companies are looking to leave a big footprint, Bambusa leaves the small footprint, which actually has a big impact. Uh, competitors are finding ways to garner attention. First of all, like bamboo, so competitors are trying to diversify. They know that uh, baby wipes is not the only product to sustain the company. Also, they're taking advantage of China. Uh, researchers uh, proved that uh, by 2016, China will own 51% of the global market for baby wipes. So it's a huge market to take advantage of. Also, licensing, licensing and marketing opportunities. You can either go to Sesame Street or daytime talk shows or even natural focused stores that would sell uh, natural products. Finally, greenwashing. Greenwashing is a big issue because a lot of companies try to deceive you with the information that they believe that the, uh, they, they want you to believe that uh, the product is either green or eco-friendly or even natural. Uh, Terra Choice uh, is a company that tries to battle that. Uh, uh, it shows uh, the sins committed by companies, uh, whether it's uh, hidden trade-offs or no proof or vagueness of how uh, eco-friendly, uh, vagueness of them claiming that it's an eco-friendly product. So with all that said, it's a fast-growing market. There's lots of new entrants within the past two to five years. And with that, you want to make sure that there's a strong marketing presence so that Bambooza continues to stay in the consideration set moving forward. Consider this. As you look to extend your brand, consider opportunities to have a parent company where Bambooza brand could be one of many in your portfolio, allowing you more flexibility to expand. Additionally, as your competitors evolve, consider alternative ways to connect with your consumers, whether it's through providing additional specialty products like baby shower options or eco-friendly tips, other communication paths that link your consumers to you beyond the product. Any questions?